how to make a perfect stopper knot. So take the working end of your rope and give yourself quite a bit of slack. Make a gun with your fingers, put your rope over the front of your gun. Then keep your fingers nice and loose by the way, you don't want them too tight otherwise it's hard to pull the rope off. Okay, so then over the top of that you want one, two, three, four, five loops. So you've got one loop at the back and one loop at the front. Now slowly pull your fingers out and put your thumb through. Okay. So you should end up now with it all on your thumb. Now with the rope at the back, put it back through and follow your thumb. So pull your thumb out and push that through. And this is the bit you've got to be careful because otherwise you're going to lose the shape of your knot. So you've got to pull this end and this end at the same time, being careful to keep the shape of your knot intact. Okay, so I'm going to keep on tightening those and massaging the shape whilst you go to make sure that your knot keeps a hold of its shape. Okay. Keep on massaging that through. And as you pull through, you've got an ideal stopper knot. Okay, and you can massage that to, to really get it as a good shape, as much as you want. And that's how to tie a stopper knot. And that's good for adding weight to the end of a rope or for stopping it going through a thin hole.